To balance this neutralization reaction, we have perchloric acid plus barium hydroxide. So we have an acid and a base. Let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one hydrogen here, plus we have the hydrogen here times the two. So two times the one, that'll give us two. So we have three hydrogen atoms, one chlorine, four oxygens, plus this two, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So two times the one, two of those. So we have six total oxygens here, and then one barium. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, two times the one chlorine, two of those. Oxygens, two times four, that gives us eight. Plus we have one oxygen with the H2O. So now we have nine oxygens and then just one barium. It's usually helpful to leave the oxygens till last in the hydrogens. So let's focus on the chlorine first. We have two here and one here. Put a coefficient of two in front of the HClO4. Let's update these numbers here. For hydrogen, we have one times two plus the two times the one there, two. So we have four hydrogens. Chlorine, one times two. So we balance the chlorine, that's what we were trying to do. And then oxygen, four times two is eight, plus two times the one oxygen is two. So we have 10 oxygen atoms, and then we still have the one barium. Let's fix the hydrogens next. We have four here and two here. So if we put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, that'll give us four. And this might also fix the oxygens. Let's update those. So we have our two times the four, that's eight. Plus now we have one times the two, that's two. That gives us 10 and we're done. This equation's balanced. The key here is to count the hydrogens carefully. You have some hydrogens here and here and the oxygens. You have oxygens here and then you have oxygens here. That's important. And then it's usually helpful to leave the oxygen till last when you're balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO4 plus BaOH2. Thanks for watching.